Hey, what's up guys? Pat here with another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing a try hack me room, which is sock level one. So this is a learning path for an entry level folks or entry level folks that are looking to learn triaging specialties or incident response or any kind of security operations center type work. Okay. So the first step is that we're going to go into cyber defense frameworks. That's the first one. And if we go down one more, the first video that we're going to be walking through today is Junior Security Analyst Intro. So that's what we're going to be getting into today. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you guys are returning, let's have some fun and learn some stuff. So let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. <music> All right, guys. So as you can see here, so this is SOC level one, like I said. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So as a security analyst or junior security analyst, you're going to like triage and do some incident response, maybe respond to some, you know, incidents that come into your organization and monitor these events with a SIM tool and look at logs and events or alerts. All right. So the responsibility of a junior analyst would be monitor and investigate alerts. Most of the time you work in a SOC, maybe in 24 by seven SOC operations environment, or sometimes you're just an internal uh, SOC analyst or SOC engineer or security engineer, whatever they wanna call it. Every different organization calls it different. You're gonna be able to configure and manage security tools, develop and implement IDS signatures, which is in, uh, intrusion detection system, okay? And then you're going to be able to escalate these security incidents to tier two on your team or escalate it up the, up the chain. Okay. So as you can see here, the first area here is, let me make sure my big head's not in the way. No. So it's cyber defense framework. And what we're going to get into first here is the junior security analyst intro. Okay. So let's keep going down. Let's click this, I mean, and then go down. Okay. So you join the room and then you see this, this guy right here. Looks like he's uh, looking through a lock hole or a key keyhole. And so we're not gonna go ahead and read everything. You can go ahead and read it. And, but you know, this is pretty much what we, what we just read. And some of the, the requirements are zero to two years of SOC analyst experience. You know, basic networking is the OSI model. TCP IP model, understanding how networks traverse data, right? And operating systems like Windows and Linux and web applications and blah, blah, blah. So if you're new to this, right, you can go ahead and do some IDS right here. Learn about this. This is from Barracuda. If you guys uh, saw that vulnerability from Barracuda's email security gateway, that was pretty interesting. But that's a whole nother ball game. And then you can see the introduction to networking. I already did this. And you can go down and learn about what is networking and all this stuff. So as we go down the chain here, security and scripting is a plus. And desired is the security plus from CompTIA. You can go ahead and click on this and you can learn about what the CompTIA is all about. And if you want to get to SOC Analyst, you can do security plus, And then you can do the CYSA plus, which is right here. And this is the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst uh, certification. Okay, so as we progress, we can learn about moving up in tier two and tier, tier three. So tier one triage is the junior folks. This is maybe, you know, you're brand new to the field or you're brand new to cyber. Maybe you worked in IT as a help desk and you wanna move into the cyber world and you're gonna learn how to monitor network traffic, logs, et cetera, and events, work on, work on tickets, and then close the, the alerts. And then you do some basic investigation and mitigation, right? So when you work your way down, you work as a security operations analyst two, incident responder. So you get pretty much deeper into the investigation and the analytics, uh, the analyst and remediation. And then you can, you know, hunt for adversaries and adversaries also known as a hacker or an internal threat or a red team or whatever you want to call an adversary. Okay. And then monitors and resolves more complex alerts. Maybe a, a tier one is maybe 
you know, they look at basic alerts. Oh, like there was a file deleted or I don't know, a file copied or I don't know. I, I'm just making things up. I don't know. But um, and then you can just do a sock, you know, sock analyst three, a threat hunter. This is where the good stuff happens, right? Like, you know, you can monitor advanced investigations. Maybe you can do some cool stuff there. And then perform advanced threat hunting and adversary research and malware uh, engineering and all reverse engineering and all this uh, good stuff, which I don't know nothing about, right? So, all right, so now let's go ahead and go down. Let's go down the list and let's go ahead and look at this question. So remember, this is just a walkthrough doing this room and I want to work through the whole thing, but today we're just working on this, all right? So what would be your first role or what would be your role as a junior security analyst? So I would say a triage specialist or so triage. Let's see if, let's see if it says anything up here. I think it's a triage. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Triage specialist. I thought I read that. All right. So let's go ahead and copy this. Come down. Let's paste it. Let's see if we are good to go. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Now you can know what's your first thing that you'll do when you're a security analyst. So now let's go ahead and go to the SOC, Security Operations Center. So what exactly is a SOC? So I don't wanna make this video too, too long, but this is pretty much the, the folks that are responding and investigating and monitoring, preventing all these threats that come into your organization 24 seven, all around the clock, right? So they pretty much can check for Make sure your assets, maybe, you know, you have an EDR, a CrowdStrike, you maybe have Cortex, you maybe have endpoint protection from Microsoft or whatever, and, or maybe even have, you know, a SIM tool like Logrhythm, Sentinel, Splunk, all these cool things. And, you, you know, you're investigating and looking at these logs and getting alerted on them, right? So, yeah. So pretty much a security operations team are in charge by... For, for monitoring and protecting many assets, any intellectual property, personal data, business systems, and brand integrity. So that's pretty much, you know, want to make sure the bad guys don't get a hold of your stuff. All right, so what is included in the responsibilities of a SOC? A ticket is created, or we'll create a ticket, log collection, right, from the SIM tool, a knowledge base, research and development. This is pretty much key. You always have to keep learning and research and understand these new and finest, the new and latest threats, you know, aggregation and collection, threat intelligence, a SIM, that's what I was just talking about, reporting, and then, you know, the cycle goes on. All right, so like I said, I'm not going to go ahead and read all this. This is pretty much talking about, you know, preparation and prevention, monitoring and, and investigation with a SIM tool, EDR, but you can right click on here, and this is what I was just talking about. Maybe you're looking at different EDRs, which is endpoint detection and response. And there's some free ones out there you can mess with and, and tinker with as well. And I think I have a video on there. All right. So then you have response. After the investigation, the SOC team will respond to your attack or whatever, which involves isolating the host from the network, terminating the malicious uh, processes, deleting files, or etc. All right. So we read it. We can continue. Let's go ahead and boohoo. Voila, now let's go ahead. My mic is in the way, so trying to, uh, all right. Let's see what's here. Let's see what's this. So let's visit the site. I guess there's gonna be a site on here. Uh, let me make sure my, my head's not in the way. No, I think we're good. All right, so let, the mic is in the way now. Now I can't see. All right, so let me just go ahead and bring this up and bring this sideways. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. If not, I messed up the video. All right, so a day in the life with a junior analyst or a junior associate. All right, so to understand the job responsibilities, blah, blah, blah. Let's just see what the questions are. Click the green. Yeah, we hit the green thing. Let's go ahead and hit complete here. Let's just read the question. So this looks like a, a quote unquote SIM tool, like right, sim.internal. So this is pretty much going to show, you know, UK, Brazil, China, US, Russia, North Korea. We have some messages here and then some dates and all this stuff. So let's see, what, it, what was the malicious IP address 
in the alert. So if we look at this, right, if we look at this, we can see, let's see if, let's click on here. Uh, so unauthorized connection from the IP address. So it looks like it's 221, 181, 185, 159. Let's see if that's the IP. 221.181.185.159. Okay. Let's hit submit. Okay, we know a little bit. All right. So this is pretty much what it's going to show you, right? Like in the real world, you have a SIM tool that's say, okay, like we got this alert. You know, there's unauthorized attempts. Maybe they're doing in this in this thing they're doing SSH port 22, and then you know success. There was a success, and then there was an unauthorized person, whatever. John Doe logged in successfully, and then John Doe, you know, had some multiple failed login attempts, and then the login failure account has expired, and this is the event here. All right, so. To whom did you escalate the event of the malicious site? So I'm guessing who, what the hell are they talking about? Uh, let's see. Do we have to like click on things? Let's see. Um, oh, you cannot view that yet. All right. Sometimes I get confused with these things okay there we go did i need to uh put that ip address in all right let, let's do that again two two whoops sorry guys this is uh i never did this rooms as you can see so two two one one eight one one eight five one fifty nine okay and i like to do this just like this because you know, I do make mistakes. I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? And if you guys get stuck, you guys can see the struggle behind behind the camera, right? All right. So as we can see here, there was many open source, blah, blah, blah. So this was found out, you know, malicious, and it was in the China Mobile Communications Corporation. All right. So that's no bueno. Let's see. All right. So what was the question again? To whom did it escalate the event? All right, so sales. So I would say, if I would guess it would be Will because he's the, 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 the lead. So let's see if I'm right. I have no idea. It's, yeah, it has to be Will because that's the only lead. All right, so G Griffin, G R. let's see if I can spell this dude's name right. Griffin, all right, submit. Holy moly, we did it. All right, so now let's go ahead, choose this guy. All right, so now what? So now we have to add a block in here for that IP address, I assume. So, you know, obviously, this is like the real world. You may not be doing this. Maybe you have to give this to the networking, network security team for them to go in there, because this is what I do sometimes, right? Like, I'll get an IP address. Oh, this is... This is crazy activity. You know, we have to give this to the network team for them to put a block in the firewall so there's no further further craziness. All right, so it's 221.181.185.159. This is pretty cool. I like this. Let's see. So let's block this. All right. I guess that's the flag. You blocked a malicious IP address. All right, let's uh, copy this. So if I can just paste it like that, please. Yeah, buddy. Cool deal. Congratulations. We did it, folks. We did it. All right. So that's it. Let's see. So now let's uh let's see. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. And we did it. We completed this one. So the next one we'll do, let me go back. Let's go back to learn. And let's see. Let's go back to that sock level one. Okay. So we just completed this one. So the next one we'll do is pyramid of pain. And we'll start here and we'll resume in the next video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, 
feel free to leave me a comment in the description below or hit me up on any social media. I know I get a lot of questions, you know, and I try to answer as many as I can. And I'm a busy guy. I'm, you know, I have a full-time job and I have my life outside of these videos. So please, please, please bear with me. I really, you know, hope you guys understand because I get like, sometimes I'll look into messages and it's like 16,000 messages. Like, hey, you're not helping me. Join my Discord and I'm sure someone can help you in the Discord. And there's so many other communities out there. So, or just Google it. I'm sure if you Google what you're asking, you'll find the answer. Trust me. But sometimes I even have to Google what someone asked me because I don't know, right? I don't know it all. So just understand that. And um, yeah, like I always say, thank you so much for checking me out. Thank you for all the support. We're past 30,000 subscribers. I couldn't do it without you folks. So thank you so much and have a beautiful day.